What's going on everybody? This is Reaper and I am back with another video. Alright, good morning everybody, and today we are going to be talking about a few things, but uh, I am fully aware that the Concord beta was a complete flop and that it is going to be taking off the store and we'll all be getting refunds. I personally don't really... I, I think a lot of people hated on that game because they just couldn't get good at it. If you want to ask my true opinion on that shit. So, I think it's kind of funny that Sony completely flopped their own studio. And that they are now in the gutter and now are basically going to basically be giving refunds to players. I think that is massively funny. So, you know, all these, all, all these recent updates in the gaming industry and stuff like that and sony can't even handle their own product i think that is massively funny so and then the other thing that i wanted to mention today was the hogwarts uh quidditch champions game which is what you see in the background i am actually rather enjoying it i'm 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 eric i'm an, and I'm, I'm actually almost done with it so i'm actually on the last stage of the uh unlockable campaign so i'm uh, actually uh, still working on that. I think to unlock the last part, you have to do the Tri Wizard Cup in on advanced mode. I think that's what it is, but I'm not sure. So, because I haven't unlocked it yet, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, you know, you know, you got all of these complainers and haters and uh, uh, fanboys and stuff like that, all whining and complaining that Sony can't actually produce an actual game, and that they all hated the game. Like I said before, I think that a lot of people are hating on that game because they cannot get good at it. And I think that is actually the actual massively fun, fun, uh, fun reason why you can't actually, uh, you can't actually support your own product because none of, you, none of your gamers actually can get good at it. And, which I think is kind of funny because I legitly played the game for 36 hours and I legitly am level 21 and I legitly can get good matches so that doesn't really apply to most of the casuals I guess because the casuals can't even learn how to actually properly do tactics in an actual first person shooter so I think that's massively funny but um yeah, so, and did I, did I think a Concord, Concord was a bad game? No, I did not. I actually enjoyed it. I actually was having fun with it. So the fact that I'm going to get a refund for it is actually kind of depressing. But I think that, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Hogwarts Champions out, Star Wars Outlaws out, um, with Dragon Ball Z Sparkling Zero and Call of Duty next month, I think that, you know, that's fine. I can I can find other games to play. I don't need Concord, but I will be happy for that forty dollar refund though. That will be actually kind of interesting to use on something else. But yeah, but you know, and do I think that they actually did a good job on Champions? Yeah, I do. I actually enjoy playing the uh, playing the sports game a lot. It's actually a lot of fun. They did make a few changes to the actual dynamic of the game, and those changes aren't so bad but they are they are kind of uh, a little bit of a, uh, uh, a letdown com considering that I am a Harry Potter fan and I actually do actually enjoy that series a lot so um, the 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 critique that they did is they to catch the golden snitch you actually get 30 points not a hundred and not a hundred and fifty so you actually do actually have to use the snitch a lot in the game in order to actually pass the other team so you 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 the best way to do this is to basically be a chaser the entire match and then just score points until you have a decent enough lead and then catch the snitch and then once by the time you go through that entire process the game matches only last like six minutes or so so you will be almost uh, completely done with the match by the time you do that process so it is actually kind of more multitasking tactical than it is an actual uh, um, 
uh, skills. So I think that, you know, as long as you actually do the correct uh, scoring and uh, the correct uh, and in the correct amount of time you will win every single match and it was actually kind of fun to do on advanced mode because advanced mode makes it a lot harder so it was actually a lot harder to do this this match than the other matches that I did so it uh, it required me to step up my game a little bit and actually score and score and score until I actually uh, uh, until I actually past the other team so and I think that uh, compared to Hogwarts Legacy I think this is actually you know uh, a decent uh, uh, a decent second I don't think it uh, I don't think it beats Hogwarts Legacy because I think Hogwarts Legacy was still better but uh, I uh, and it Hogwarts Legacy actually had a full storyline and stuff like that so this one doesn't really have a storyline to begin with it just has matches that you go from section to section and then and then you beat the game it's uh it's not that uh it's not not a, that enticing but if you do like the quidditch game and you do actually like you know playing harry potter then this game is for you this game is actually really fun um and it does require a certain uh certain amount of understanding to actually really do the game well because you actually have to be in all positions of the entire match so and then um the uh other thing that i wanted to mention was the fact that just because microsoft is not selling hardware sales does not mean they're failing because if you look at their if you look at their bank income and you look at their actual value as a company they have way more money than sony so they will always be here they will not go anywhere just because the consoles are not selling at this stage in the actual generation does not necessarily mean that microsoft is dying and i think that is a real 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 understatement to uh, when you see all these fanboys actually crying that Microsoft is not selling consoles and you know for Microsoft they don't need to sell consoles like Sony does to actually make a buck they legitimately can make money on all different types of things and they don't need uh, they don't need their consoles to lift them up to actually produce actual quality of value that they have a quality of value in almost every section in the gaming industry and it's just it just makes them more and more value and if you want to know what the true value of microsoft is right now it, it is call of duty everybody so yeah when once call of duty comes out next month you're gonna see a big spike in sales for xbox and i think that's gonna be amazing so but i hope everybody enjoyed this video i hope you found this useful and i will catch you guys on the next one later